Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Alexis, and if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. But by the title, by the intro, we're in Jamaica and we're celebrating my boyfriend's birthday. So we had to do it right. We are staying at the Hyatt Zalara in Montego Bay. Um, and as you can see, we're already in the room and it is 11.30ish, a little after 11.30. So early check-in, checks the box. Um, but yeah, we just had an early flight, came straight to the resort and they have been very accommodating. So I'm going to show you guys the room. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, but I'm excited for this trip. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to see more travel vlogs, lifestyle, all that good stuff. So, yeah, enjoy. This gym, they did that. They did that with this gym. And there's a private little room. With, she's spinning in there right now. But they literally have everything. Anything you could think of, they have it. Two-story gym. Two-story gym. That's all I have to say. Dang, you squeaky old little Yeezys. You make it all the noise. So we came over to the family side, which is Ziva, Hyatt Ziva, Hyatt Ziva. And the lobby area is a little bit bigger. Um, and there's more restaurants, little shops on this side. So yeah, let me fit the camera around. It's day two and we're chilling by the pool. We had breakfast. Um, Basically, had rundown, boiled dumpling, boiled yam, and steamed veggies and some fruit. And it was tasty. First time I had rundown, and it was good. So now we're chilling by the pool, and we 
have a spa appointment at one, so that should be really nice. So we're just gonna relax until then. Last night, this one slept through dinner. So yeah, so we missed the entertainment, missed dinner. I kind of just scavenged what I could. Um, could have ordered room service, but I don't know why we didn't. And yeah, so we'll see how today goes, but so far so good. Oh my gosh, I was rushing, I was trying to blow up balloons for my boyfriend because today's his boy today is his birthday so i was trying to blow up balloons really quick Ooh. so we had our bamboo massage where they literally had bamboo warm hot and they were rolling it on us it was really nice and then we went into the pool and yeah so, it was real nice they made us say a little affirmation to one another before we started and it was really cute okay, I'm getting what's that uh costume never mind Chris Lime Cottonfish Filets, Vegetary Tartar Sauce, Sweet Shrimp Skewers, they are currently setting up for bonfire tonight. We have to go somewhere. Everything's right here on the resort. Why are you walking so fast? Good. You tired. Tired. You had a little nap in that uh during that spa treatment. He was snoring. Mm -hmm. This is the second time we've had a massage together. Second time he's fell asleep during it. But that means it was good. You want the jerk pork? Jermaine, just get it and bring it to the room. Okay, so I have to be quick because I got tape. We have a happy birthday and champagne for germ. I got balloons. Close your eyes. I have a surprise for you. Ooh, Ooh. Wow. that look good. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Jen. Jen. Wishing you the best birthday ever. Mm -hmm. I did all of this, babe. They did not do this. Day. All they did was. I, I got the cake for you, and the, but they don't do balloons, and so I had to go to Party City. And I had to blow up the balloon, that's why it took so long. Oh my god. How the hell you do all that so fast? I was... <laughs> so, they don't do balloon tears. I had to get these balloons myself and blow them up. Secretly. So, but they do like, they do like a birthday cake, sparkling wine. They could do like a little beach dinner. 
they could do like a little bubble bath situation so they have options they just don't do balloons so yeah but we made it work right <laughs> bun and cheese all the way from America, the States, and eating it on Easter Sunday in Jamaica. About to go kayak. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna do the paddle boards. And then I think we're just gonna chill by the beach. We were supposed to be going on a Chukka excursion. My boyfriend planned it and never got, we only got a confirmation email, we never got the follow-up email with our pickup time and all the information we called we tried to email nothing was going through i guess because it was sunday or it was saturday and i guess i don't know what do you think why did they not why did the numbers yeah i don't know why the numbers weren't going through our receptionist here at the resort they were even trying the numbers it wasn't going through for them so i'm not sure if it was just an off day for them but the email wasn't going through so i'm not really sure what happened with that so we get a phone call this morning saying our driver's here to pick us up we were knocked out because we went out last time last night so we try to hurry up and get ready and then by the time my boyfriend goes down there the driver's gone so literally immediately afterwards he gets a phone call saying you know what happened da, da, da. but it's like we didn't even know when we were getting picked up how are we supposed to be ready if we don't know when to be ready so i mean all they did was apologize and like rebook us for tomorrow but i mean didn't really want to do that on my last day and like what happened if we weren't even while we were leaving, like we would just have to get a refund. So yeah, that was our morning. Woke up abruptly and had to go rush and then not even be able to make it. And then like they were saying we could take a one way trip that we would have to pay for. And, you know, still go and then, you know, obviously drive back with them, but that wasn't the plan. So anyways, you know, that's behind us, but just know if you're booking with Chukka, make sure they send you a follow-up email or just be ready like super early because, you know, it's just an inconvenience. So that's that. So we'll do, I'll let you guys know how that is 
once we do it tomorrow. And I mean, it's all day thing. I did not want to do that on my last day. But anyways, that was that. That was my little spiel on Chukka. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. The waters are calm. So we're able to do like the kayaking and paddle boarding. So yeah, all my little things though. People are paddle boarding over there, kayaking, the water's real calm. About to go zip lining. All geared up and a little nervous, even though I've already been, but yeah. Oh, 
pirates, yes they rob high. So we are back from our Chukka experience excursion and check-in was smooth. We were doing zip lining, rafting, tubing, and the rum tasting. We only got to do a three out of the four because timing. So I don't know what they do. I don't know like how they really plan everything out, but I think that's what we paid for. We didn't even get to complete the pass. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall, like the tour guides are really friendly. Um, so there was no issue there. It was just like really like the lack of communication, the operations, like that needs improvement. Um, but yeah, I didn't have lunch because as you saw, there's only jerk chicken and I don't eat chicken. So, um, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend and I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, would you recommend, babe? You have food all over your mouth. And in your beard, excuse me. Would you recommend Chukka? Um, on a good day. On a good day? Just because of the activities. And stuff. Yeah, like the actual like excursion, like what they have planned is cool. If you want to like do a lot or even like do like half of the things because you could leave at two. I think I would recommend doing where you start in the morning and you end at two. I'm not sure which pass that is, but you don't do like all four because you might not be able to do all four, so. And it's just like a lighter day. Um, but yeah, I would just make sure, you know, you have your pickup time. And even when we called or like email, like nothing was going through, so. That's why I say like lack of communication is big for me, so I wouldn't be recommending um, I would just put that disclaimer for those that do ask, but that was our experience with Chukka. We got a quick bite before dinner, which is in 30 minutes, but we were, I was hungry. So we're going to be eating at Jamaican Roots and yeah, it should be good. Their lunch is good. So we're going to go get ready and head to dinner. Is it good? Let me try one. Is it good? I'm going to with the Akian. This is good. Sauce. Is good too. <clears throat> oh, I can taste the pepper right here. Got some escadish fish, rice and peas, they got oxtail, and greens. What's that? Oh, a plantain? Oh, I didn't see that. I want some. Let's see if I can um, eat two of these. Manager made sure I was there. What's his name? Clinton? I think his name was Clinton. The manager. So that's it for Jamaica. I'm back home now. Um, yesterday we had dinner and then we crashed because that excursion literally drained us. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Um, definitely if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.